Hello and welcome to 3D Ross Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic house in Maya 2016. So first of all I'm going to start by creating a cube. So I've got to create polygon cube. Click R to scale and scale it to a rough height that you want. And then pull it up above the grid. Right, first of all, we're going to hold right click, go to face, let go of right click, left click the top face, and go to edit mesh and extrude or control A. Pull it up a little bit and then hold right click and go back to object mode and let go of right click and click away. Now click back on our cube. Then we want to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and we want to use multiple edge loops. This will create our edge loop in the center of the object and define the number of edge loops as one. Then click along another edge to create the edge loop in the center and then hold left click and let go on edge. Press W to come out of edge loop creation mode and then select the top edge and then pull this edge up and you've got your roof of your house. Go back to object mode and then let's insert some more edge loop tools so mesh tools, insert edge loop and then go a relative distance from edge in the tool settings and now we're going to create our door so select along here, hold left click so you can see where it's going and we'll do about that, just do it really quickly for the tutorial select the height and to do it on a different axis you just instead of selecting along here you select along a y axis edge loop and now let's zoom into our door hold right click go to face, press W select the face and then go to Edit Mesh, Extrude or Control A. Pull it in a bit. And then go back, go to Edge Mode. Select the edge on the bottom and hit Delete. And that'll just get rid of this overhang here. And I'll go back to Object Mode. Select the object. Now we're going to create the windows. So go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, make sure you're still on relative distance from edge, and now define where you want your windows to be. I'm just going to see it around here. Around there. And if you want to change it, just go to Select Edge Mode, and click at Edge, and hold shift and double click an edge and this will select all the edges around there and then move it down to where you want it to be but I think that should be alright for the purpose of the tutorial now hold right click go to face select the face where you want the window and move it in but first you want to go extrude because if I move it in it will still be attached to the other ones and it'll create an indent like that with a curve but you don't want that for a window so want to do extrude again and pull it in about there and then want to create a window here but I want it longer instead of creating more edge loops which is going to go at edge select these two edges click R for scale and then pull it out Go back to face mode, select it, then you want to do your extrude, control E, and pull it in. And there we go. And now we'll do the bottom window, edit mesh, insert edge loop. 
Pull it down. About there. So yeah, I'll click W and bring this down a bit more. Bring this round more. So select an edge on the line. Hold shift. Double click another edge. And I'll move it down. Now go to face. Select the edge. Ctrl E for extrude. And bring it in. There we go. And let's have a look what the house looks like so far. So we'll go to render. This is to render your current perspective view. That's what our house looks like. But now I'm going to create some steps. Okay, so I'm going to create polygon cube. And then press R to scale it just so we can see it. W, bring it along. Bring it next to the door. And press F to bring it into perspective, the object that's selected. And then scale it. Right, there's many ways to make steps, but I'm just going to show you one method in this tutorial. So you go to face, drag it down to where you want the bottom of the steps to be. Go back to object mode. Go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. We're going to use the multiple edge loops so they're the same distance apart from each other. And then we're going to define how many steps we want. I'm just going to say about five. Then press W to come out of the edge loop tool mode. Hold right click, go to face, select all the faces apart from the top one by holding shift and left click on each face and then extrude and then so the length that you want your step to be and then hold control, left click the top step and control E to extrude again, drag it along Control left click the top step, Control E to extrude again, along, and then just keep doing the same until you get to the bottom of the step. So there we go. But I'm going to pull the back bit in a bit because this doesn't look right. So go to face. I can select them all individually, or I can drag select. And then hold control and deselect the other faces that are selected and pull them into the defined depth I want. Hold right click, object mode, move it along, and there you have your steps. But this looks pretty weird, so I'm going to select the bottom faces of the house and drag it down. So I'm going to go to face. Select all the bottom, you can select them individually or you can drag select and then hold control and along. Let's just make sure all the faces aren't selected, which they were. Right, there we go. And now I'm just going to pull it down. Go to object mode and now I'm going to create a plane which is basically a cube but with only one face. And then click R to scale, it's going to be in the centre of the grid. R to scale, scale it all the way out. As you can see it has no Y axis, it's just flat. Bring it up to where the stairs are. And there we go, we'll have our basic house. Then to render it out, we we'll just click this board here, and there's your house. Thank you for watching. This has been a my tutorial for beginners, and in the next tutorial, I'll be covering texturing, or I'll be adding detail to this house. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.